this video, I'm going to show you how to play an MP3 file on any of your Echo devices as part of your smart home automations using Voice Monkey and Sharp Tools, and we'll also be using Dropbox as well. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. And like I said, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Voice Monkey here. And I've already done a bunch of videos on this already on how to set it up and how to do different things. So definitely check out that playlist and watch those videos um, so you don't get lost in this video. Now I have created basically a monkey for all of my Echo devices that I'll ever want to use in my automations. So I just created these and I just put VM and then the location of that Echo device. So if I just tap on trigger for the office here, VM office was triggered. That's just showing that it does make the connection and Voice Monkey is able to go in there and do things to your Echo devices. And by using Sharp Tools, we can integrate those into our rules. So in this video, we're going to show you how to play MP3s using Voice Monkey and Sharp Tools. This is not built into Voice Monkey yet, although it should be here soon. They are working on that now, but I figured um, I had a couple of people asking about this, so I'll go ahead and make a video right now. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have an MP3 file. Now the MP3 file must be accessible from the internet. So it can't just be on your hard drive. It has to be out on the internet where people can access it. So the easiest way to do that is just get a Dropbox account. Dropbox is completely free. Go ahead and sign up for Dropbox and then put your MP3 into Dropbox. So I already have all that stuff set up, of course, and this is my MP3 file here. And what you need to do is you need to get the link of this file. So right now it's in your personal Dropbox. You can get to it, but no one else can. But what you have to do is you have to share this file and that will be a public link where other people can access it. So if we tap on share here, you're not gonna send an email to anyone. All we need to do is copy the link. And now you can see at the bottom here, it says link copied and if we open up a new tab you can paste that in right here and then this is the mp3 file right here and you can just push play hello and thank you for watching this video this is how you can send mp3 files to your echo devices using voice monkey and sharp tools enjoy all right so there you can see that works and you can do songs or speaking whatever do sound effects basically unlimited options here to add into your automations so now that we have this file copied what we need to do is we need to change this into a particular format so right over here this is the dropbox voice monkey link format so initially we have this format right here and what we need to do is we need to change it to be this format right here so what i've done here is i've highlighted the areas that are changing in red so you can see that after the two slashes here we're going to remove this part here and we're going to replace it with this red part here and i'm going to leave all of this in the video description so don't worry about you know having to write anything down or anything like that you can just copy it right out of the video description so obviously your um, link is going to be completely different although you can use this link i'll leave the link in this location for a little bit longer if you move anything in dropbox it will break the link so make sure that if you are putting stuff in dropbox and you're going to be using those mp3s and automations that you don't move that folder in dropbox it's got to stay where it's at and then the only other thing you need to change is this zero here it needs to change to a one and then you have your revised link right here. So this revised link will allow us to play it through Voice Monkey using Sharp Tools. All right now, the setup in Sharp Tools basically, we're going to use the post URL, and I've already created um, this right here. So you can copy this exactly. And what you would want to do is you would want to create a variable Voice Monkey 
access token and voice monkey secret token. And then if you wanted to add a voice, you can add a voice at the end. I like the Amy voice. And then the last part here is the JSON payload. And you're just going to name which monkey you're going to be using, which is which device is going to play on. And then you're going to essentially put the link that we generated up here, the revised link that's going to be pasted in to the announcement portion here, and you're gonna add this to it. So you're gonna add a quote, the audio, and then SRC for search equals, and then it's gonna be your link with a single quote here, another quote, single quote at the end, a slash, and then this, but that's all gonna be in the video description. So now let's take a look at what it looks like in Sharp Tools. So we're gonna go over to Sharp Tools, and I've already created a test rule here, and the way I run the rule is I just have a sharp tool run virtual switch. And I have it, if I turn it on or turn it off, it's going to trigger this rule. And then what you're gonna do is in the flow section, you're just going to have an action and it's going to be an HTTP action. So we can just do this again. Let's just go ahead and add it again. So tap the plus sign, tap on action. And then the very last option here is HTTP tap on that, and then you're gonna choose the post option here. And then I can just copy the stuff that's um, up here. If I tap on edit, I'll grab this, paste it down here. This part right here, you can get right from Voice Monkey. So if you come over here and you go to the playground section, right over here, the API URL, it has your access token and your secret token in here. You don't have to use variables, you can just use those. The reason I like to use variables is because after every time I make a video, I have to change my um, tokens because I don't want you guys making announcements on my devices. So that's why I changed that. Just know that's all you're doing is um, grabbing this information. Since we're doing it a little bit different, you don't need the monkey part at the end because we're going to define that a little bit lower in the rule. So it's just um, you're basically your two tokens and then a voice if you wanted a voice. And then a little bit further down, um, your payload section. So remember the payload section is going to be this stuff up here. So you would just copy this from the video description and paste that in the payload section. And then all it's gonna do is it's gonna do the audio search. Just gotta make sure you have all your quotes and all your single quotes in the right places or it won't work. And then you have your modified Dropbox link. And all we have to do is hit save on this. We'll, um, we'll update this one as well. So what this should do is they should do this twice. All right, I don't know what would happen because there's no delay in, our, in here. So we'll see if it just does one and then does the other. So we're just gonna go ahead and save this rule. And then that's this rule right here. Okay, so the only thing we need to do to run this rule is go into our SmartThings app go to devices. So right here, the security sharp tools run is off. So if I turn that to be on. Hello, and thank you for watching this video. This is how you can send MP3 files to your Echo devices using Voice Monkey and Shark tools. Enjoy. So I guess since they were both sent at the exact same time, it only executed one of them. Um, so that's interesting, um, but you can see that that works. So all you have to do is set up your rule and you obviously this is just a test rule, but you could have it be like when someone comes home that make an announcement on your Echo devices that someone is coming home. Or say if you wanted it to play a particular song when you come home or a particular song when you wake up or anything like that, you can play any MP3 file using Sharp Tools, Voice Monkey, and Dropbox to help you get the public link there. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I read and respond to every single comment that I get. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.